Hey, and welcome to the vault. Let me uh, show you where we keep all our gems. So you might be wondering how we get so many awesome, cool, healthy fish out in the field in our tanks. And it all starts with the carrot here. Uh, it's really important to uh, manage fish care a little bit differently than you would in a fish tank when you're in a holding system. There's a lot of animals in these systems. They're being fed a lot of food. They're producing a lot of waste. Um, there's new things coming in all the time which could pot potentially bring in diseases. So you got to keep a really close eye on everything. Uh, we preventatively treat many of our animals with medication to make sure that they're not bringing diseases into the tanks and so that the healthy fish stay healthy and the fish that may need a little bit of health boost get that. Um, in addition, we do really big water changes on our tanks on a weekly basis to make sure that they stay pristine. So in the events that fish do get sick, which happens now and then, uh, we transfer them to an isolated room where they can be treated and not transfer diseases to other animals that we call our quarantine room. Um, fish get treated for a minimum of a week there, um, depending on what the disease is, sometimes it's longer, and we make sure that they are happy and healthy before they go out to any service tank or are put back into our holding systems. Um, sometimes we do really big tanks, you know, we do things all the way from your desktop aquarium to 25,000 gallon shark tanks. Uh, so sometimes we do bring in some pretty big stuff, and we also have a separate holding bin, uh, holding room with bins downstairs that holds large animals. Out in the fields, we create basically four types of tanks. We have freshwater tropical tanks, freshwater cichlid tanks, saltwater reef tanks, and saltwater fish only tanks. And each of those has a different host of animals that can thrive in those, that type of environment. And we have all of those separated here in our holding room as well. So we build all sorts of mixed reefs here at Something Fishy, and we have to be able to uh, stock up a reef pretty quickly after the tank is built. So we have a host of different types of corals. Um, we separate them into different tanks based on uh, pricing and also based on uh, the type of water flow that they need and the type of light that they need. Our lights, uh, we use photon reef breeders for the most part. These guys are awesome, incredible lights. Um, and we generally keep them on for about 8 to 10 hours a day. Any longer than that tends to grow algae in the tanks and they don't look as pristine as they could. Um, so we have them ramp up for about an hour so that the corals can gradually adjust to the oncoming sunlight. And then we have them ramp down for about an hour at, in the evening um, until they hit entire darkness. Uh, we don't leave the blue lights on in our tanks at night because we like everyone to be able to sleep. What's going on guys? I'm Derek, also known as Fish Action Phil, and this is my humble abode here on the in-house Aquarius, and I take care of everything that you see before they go out to service to their forever homes. So that means I make sure that every single fish is healthy and nice and fat, just so that he can be a nice addition to your aquarium. So as you got going on here, we got our coral bins, saltwater fish, and our freshwater fish, all for you to be able to choose exactly the right fish to make you happy and to enjoy your tank that much more. And that's all for today. Thanks for checking us out. And be sure to look at us on Facebook and Instagram.